Today, we are doing TikToks. Carissa Eats, and she, in her bio, says, eating my way through China. All right, so what else do you got for that me? That was her she, squatty potty I tutorial. Thought, I All thought right. she's a, she's she's like a, a food. She's a foodie, right? Yeah, yeah, she's a foodie. So, I mean, her name is Carissa Eats. So okay. let's see what she eats, all right? All so right. we're going to get started with... Um, the, the title of this video is called BRB, Hamburger Pizza Coma. What I eat in a day oh, as dang. an American living in That's Beijing. Cute. This morning I went to my apartment's cafeteria for breakfast noodles. Yeah, breakfast noodles. I love that breakfast nice. noodles are a thing nice. here. Good. They were so warm and yummy. They had potatoes I could eat noodles for breakfast and a bunch of different like veggies. Every day. And oh, they yeah. were a little spicy, but not too bad. Then I headed downtown cool. for lunch to this big mall called The Place. Ooh. I went to Mocha called Bros, which is such a cute okay. vibe. It's more of a westernized restaurant, oh. but the food is so oh, good. Oh, is we got a bunch of stuff. I started off with this sandwich that had Parmesan and pesto. Why does that look like cardboard? <laughs> chicken was cooked perfectly and then I got this waffle that was oh my gosh so good it had peanut butter and pecans okay. and came with ice cream and finally for dinner me and my friend Sean ordered this massive pizza from a place called the tube station oh. it came with Tabasco sauce it was absolutely huge and this is by far the best pizza I've had in Beijing this was a hamburger pizza which is actually pretty popular here and they're so delicious we also ordered some onion rings that were really crispy and that's all for today right, so that's all for today all right she got some onion rings and hamburger pizza. Is hamburger pizza really popular in China? Is it popular pizza? I wouldn't know because <laughs> I never eat pizza when I'm in China. Makes me pizza a like in pizza. general sucks. Hey, it's if bread you, and cheese. If what I you have the option <laughs> between Chinese food and pizza, I would put, I would throw the pizza in the garbage bag. <laughs> it, even e like, every time that was the first video maybe she gets better all right yeah all right. there's more videos i gotta show you what i eat in a day as an american living in beijing there's this popular chain called wagas in the city it's kind of like a panera i got this falafel wrap that was so good i haven't had falafel in forever then for lunch i got some sushi from the family mart in my apartment complex i added some spicy garlic sauce of course and it had crab and tuna and seaweed and it also had tofu and different kinds of veggies Honestly, thank God for Family Mart. And for dinner, I headed to a nearby mall to get some Korean barbecue with a friend. Nice. Of course, the okay. menu was Finally, a giant some picture good food. book, and they had Finally. a massive sauce it's station good. as well. We got, we got lots barbecue. of different yeah, stuff, it looks, it and it came good. with a bunch of pickled vegetables as well as creamed corn, which I didn't know was a thing in China. Uh, I think anyway, I started off with this teriyaki beef that, that was but... marbled. It was so good, and this potato was perfect in the peanut sauce. We also got a big platter of mushrooms that was so good with the garlic Dang, soy yeah, sauce, yeah. and right. of course, you can't go wrong with grilled onions and that's all for today an onion, but... oh my mouth is like watering yeah over. like i'm not carissa eats good looking food there's nothing wrong with the food she well okay there's nothing probably wrong with the taste or anything but it's just the choices she makes so uh, yeah, i mean she I mean, had sushi falafel and falafel Fa i don't I, even where do you get falafel in how, america where do you find falafel in china like where that is just do you guys even know? Like, you I don't even falafel. know the Chinese name for falafels. What's falafel, Mike? I know all falafel. the names for every other <laughs> things. I know sushi is shou si. Shou si. You know, Korean like barbecue. Korean barbecue, Korean barbecue, Korean barbecue, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. But I do not know the Chinese name for falafels. Falafel. How does one acquire falafel when you're in Beijing, China? So yeah, so that was the next video. Next one. Still dreaming about those fish tacos. Oh God, all right. Oh, dude. Everything I ate on a day out in Beijing. We started off at a mall that was all decked out for Christmas and we Yay. went to this Italian nice. restaurant where we ordered so much food and I got this giant drink that had cotton candy all That's around it. Oh, it was nice. so fun and we also got some garlic bread, which honestly is a little different here, but we got some pasta carbonara that was so good. It came in a bread bowl and it was really creamy and yummy. And then we ordered spicy wings, but they came with this gnocchi that was pretty good, honestly, but the spicy wings were actually the best part part of the whole meal. And next we headed to a Mexican restaurant where they were having a Santa con. What? We got some nachos that were actually delicious. I haven't had nachos in so long. Then we got so many why. tacos. Uh. These chicken ones were pretty good. The guac was actually really spicy, but the shredded beef ones were definitely one of my favorites. The meat was cooked perfectly. And these were the carnitas. They didn't quite get the uh. spices right, but they were still pretty oh, yummy. Quite, but the right? fish tacos not totally quite. made up for it. They were so crispy and cooked perfectly. I could have eaten like 10 of them. 
them. And of course, we had to get dessert, so we got this dolce de leche cheesecake that was yeah. absolutely dolce amazing. And that is all for today. All right, yeah. So that's what she ate that day. So, Italian and Mexican food in China. Why? I don't even uh, know. I, uh, I didn't know I could even ask you. Like, hey, babe, can we get some tacos when we're in China? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is everything that's wrong with Chinese people. You know why? What? Because us Chinese people spoil you foreigners so much that we create all these like crazy Western restaurants in China. Like, what? Like, Dude, if you're right? talking about percentages, there is probably about less than maybe less than 2%. I doubt that it's like in the high 1% of foreigners living in China. Mm -hmm. Yet there are all these foreign restaurants that are so decked out. Hey. I don't understand it. Hey, you know, I mean, some Chinese people probably want like Italian sometime and a taco. You know what? <laughs> you're right. You're right. You know what? It's unfair because when I like being living in America yeah. has made me more patriotic in the sense that like when I'm back in China, all I want to do is like Chinese shit. Eat you know, Chinese I'm, food. I'm That's like, it. I'm going to get my China swag on. I'm going to be like walking around eating like the most obscure Chinese food yep, because yep. that's like all I think about when I'm in America, you know? So oh, show. I guess for Chinese people living in China, they're like, for like, them, it's not Chinese food. For them, it's just food. food. It's yeah. Just food. So they're so like, they're oh, like, let's try something well, else. Let's get some like a bread bowl. But you know what I hate <laughs> though? I hate that she is l sitting there in China right. at these foreign restaurants, which right. they, they have to cater to the Chinese taste yeah, a little bit, right? Of course. But That's she's why she sitting had there like, bread. she is sitting there demanding that all these foreign food restaurants must make these foreign food. Uh -huh. Like probably cooked by Chinese chef. Yeah, most likely. To the same flavor that she wants <laughs> in America. Yeah. When and she's from Florida. She's and like there's a big, you know, Hispanic population in Florida. Yeah. So she knows a taco and she's like, so they she didn't like, quite get this flavor right. Yeah, dude, you're like you're all the China. way across <laughs> the Pacific Ocean, man. <laughs> Dude, that one, that one got, that one, that got, one got me a little, a little bit, bit, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. All right. I don't know about that. Yeah. Final one. Final okay. one. All right. This one titled, Longevity Noodles are my new favorite tradition. Okay. Ah, Chang Shou Mian. Okay. Yeah. Everything I ate on my birthday in Beijing. Happy birthday. I started birthday. off with brunch yeah. at this place where you just point Happy to what you birthday. want in a display case. And I got this fruit salad nice. that had this yogurt and dragon fruit. the dragon this fruit. This cinnamon French toast was so thick and mm. so good. And these wings just had bread. a honey barbecue glaze that was actually really Chicken. sweet. Nice. And they were super juicy too. Wow. And this bruschetta looked juice. a little questionable, what? but it was actually my favorite. It was chicken salad with roasted veggies. Then for lunch, we went to Larry the Bird, which is a local fried chicken place and we got a bunch of different stuff this salt and pepper chicken was literally some of the ah, best chicken i've so had since coming to china which was good really the mac and cheese was not my favorite but the mashed potatoes made up for it they were really spicy and then i got this cannelloni that was so creamy what, what is a cannelloni and after a long night out we headed to mr lee's noodles which is super popular finally in china. and i tried finally some pepper. good fucking food ah, 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 ah. you missed it you missed it all right go back go back which is super popular in China. What? And I tried my first Chinese hamburger. The bun was so flaky and the beef was really flavorful. And it's tradition in China to eat noodles on your birthday. They represent long life or longevity. These were beef noodles and the beef was so good. It literally melted in my mouth. And Dude, that's not even longevity noodles, man. <laughs> what? That was noodles. just like some like instant ramen, I think. Or like just like some like takeout. Wait, what did you think about Chinese this? She got a hamburger. A Chinese hamburger. It's it's got beef uh, and it's got buns. What? Uh, dude, what's to I can't complain believe about? she called. Dude, how <laughs> like Eurocentric do you have to be to call real jiaomu or Chinese hamburger, man? Cut that beef is and wild. bun. <laughs> dude, what are you gonna say next? You know, you're gonna call tea a Chinese. Oh, this is some Chinese coffee. It this tastes is a really Chinese good. Coffee. And there's Don't like look what caffeine. like. Bro, yeah, yeah, there's like jianbing guozi, you know, like, and you're gonna call it what, like a Chinese burrito? Dude, yes. there's just like so many things. 
it's the way the Western world views other countries' food. They just got to compare it to what they know yeah, and then just be like, uh, there it is. Uh, Chinese hamburger. That's what I'm going to call it from now on, and you're going to have to live with it. So what do you think? What do you think about what you've seen? All right. To be fair, she's been in China for like six months. You know. Well, now it's these are she's it's still going. Pushed, she's about, almost a year, I think. So now. probably pushing a year, but mm -hmm. I I remember you know when I first came to North America, and I was like, ah, oh, I want to eat Chinese food all yeah, the time. Yeah, you, know? you just you want to be reminded of home. Brings back the nostalgia. Yeah. Brings back all that. Like when you're far away and in a different country yeah. with no people that you know. And I know a lot of international students here in America yeah. going to U.S. colleges. They, they're eating Chinese food every day. Oh, yeah. You know, that's like all they eat. Oh, they'll yeah. cook Chinese food at home, and then they will eat Chinese food every day. Yep. Because, let's be honest here, Chinese food is the most superior type of cuisine. I could argue with you on that, but that's just I'm coming just, from a I'm Westerner. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know? I mean... Okay, okay. Food is food. <laughs> food is food. You know? Good food is good food. Good food is good food, exactly. Yes. But for me, you know... I. I eat all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel compelled to be like, what do I eat in a day as a Chinese living in America and just show me eating Chinese food all the time? <laughs> and just make TikTok about that? That is like... That's a little... That's like low-tier content for it me. Is. I, I mean, you know, that you is... Know. Uh, it, it would be one thing if you were it like... Goes, it goes... Doing that, making that kind of TikTok, yeah. and then slightly above it, reacting to that kind of TikTok, there you which go. is exactly what we're, what doing, we're doing right, right now. now. Yay! Oh. That's us. High Yay! Five. High five. We're oh, nice. All right, <laughs> three times. Ah, that was even worse. Oh, nice. There you go. She's lucky that she gets to be in China, you yes. know, because we can't. So we're living yes vicariously through her. Yeah. Just wishing yeah. I could be there and eat more food. Yep. I'm hungry now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Let's go get a taco. <laughs> I want that authentic Chinese Mexican taco. <laughs> if you guys want us to do more reaction videos, remember to hit the like button, okay? Because uh, we're just exploring different stuff. We yeah. go from skits to reaction videos to vlogs. To even we're just some video game streaming. Like, we're trying that out. We're just like, doing parkour we're just through going all these. wild with yeah. games. Like, so, yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Love you. We got to react to more people. <laughs> TikTok is like... TikTok is just a cesspool uh, of... Uh, well, I was going to say, like, like uh, it has a lot of hidden treasures. But cesspool, I mean, <laughs> hidden <laughs> treasure, cesspool, <laughs> potato, potato. On TikTok, you can't even tell the difference. It's yeah. The same. All right. But yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Uh, I burped again. <laughs>